Hi, my name is Peter Zafi, and I'm the lead character artist at Treyarch, which is part of Activision Blizzard. During my time in the industry, I've worked at both large and small studios like Rhythm and Hughes and Luma Pictures, where I acquired a wealth of knowledge in creating characters for film, cinematics, and games. Most notably, I've worked on Call of Duty, Kung Fu Panda, Underworld, and James Bond. Every character is the result of creative and technical decisions. That's why professional workflows, software tips, and the underlying artistic theories are key to creating better character art. In this course, you'll learn how to create incredible characters using Maya, ZBrush, Mudbox, Marvelous Designer, Substance Painter, and the Arnold Renderer. To begin, we will talk about the pipeline flow and how to make a roadmap for the entire process. We'll go through the analysis and breakdown of concept art and come up with a game plan to tackle each part of the character efficiently. We'll start with the block out of the character so that a solid foundation is in place to build on. The face is such an important part of any character that needs to be done right, both artistically and technically. I'll show you my process for going from the initial block out of the head to sculpting anatomically correct primary and secondary forms. From a technical standpoint, we'll discuss topology and UV mapping and then apply photorealistic details to the skin. We will finish the head up with displacement map extraction, a photorealistic eyeball, and a test render seen in Maya to iterate with. With the head finished, we'll move on to doing the hair groom with XGen. We'll cover the creation and editing of guide hairs, discuss region maps, and go through different modifiers and brushes to get interesting and believable hair. For the body, we'll use a variety of methods and tools to create clean polygon meshes for the clothing and accessories. We'll spend time on UVs and model preparation so that the detailing in ZBrush goes smoothly. This is an important step because it allows you to progress confidently. I'll show you how to properly prepare and export the models for both rendering in Maya and texture painting in Substance Painter. After finishing the texture painting, we'll move over to Maya to set up the AI standard surface shaders which allow for rapid iteration in the look development phase. Finally, we'll wrap things up with posing the character and outputting final renders that we will color grade and post process to achieve a cinematic look. By the end of this course, you'll understand industry standard tools and workflows for creating polished and production friendly character art. Each week an assignment will be due which will put what you've learned into practice. It is a great opportunity to try the workflow and come up with questions. I'll provide each student with concise recorded video feedback on each assignment. Additionally, there will be a one hour live session each week for questions and additional demonstrations to further the learning process. These sessions are a great opportunity to talk about the industry, portfolios, and all things related to character art. You'll also have an online discussion forum to communicate with the entire class. I've taken the knowledge I've gained over two decades and packed it into this course. You will learn to be more versatile and efficient by mixing artistic and technical knowledge. Come join me if you're eager to push your character art to the next level, and I look forward to seeing you in class.